welcome. You have been designated for oblivion. The decision to come here was not your own. It was ours. The thought was implanted in your brain by auto-suggestion. What you are about to see will prepare you physically and psychologically for the most intense ride experience ever devised. If you wish to survive oblivion, we advise you to observe the screens at all times. This is the world's first vertical drop roller coaster. During the ride, you will free fall face first into blackness. The free falling object is something which falls under the sole influence of gravity. Unfortunately, in this instance, that object will be you. Free falling objects accelerate as they plummet down. This is a ticker tape trace of a ball falling taken at 0.1 second interval. The fact that the distance the ball travels is increasing shows it is speeding up. Unfortunately, unlike the ball, people do not bounce. When there is air resistance, large objects fall faster than small ones. And as you'll be falling vertically on a ride car which weighs more than a large elephant, this could be some cause for concern. In fact, if Newton's second law of gravity is applied to your predicament, this could mean you are about to be trashed. During the drop into blackness, the gravitational pull may exert excessive force on body tissue. For instance, you may experience a reduction in skin moisture, dehydration, may lead to an evaporation of essential protective brain fluid. This may cause the brain to rattle around in the skull of it. In stressful situations such as these, the body's fight or flight response system is activated. Muscles tense, heart rate increases, and there is an increase in body temperature. For those about to ride oblivion, Extreme anxiety may even cause spontaneous combustion. Make sure you are wearing flame-proof underwear. At the same time, adrenaline levels also rise, and the brain's chemical messengers go into overdrive. Adrenaline junkies may OD on the excitement. G-force is another factor. Take a pilot, for instance. The maximum g-force a human being can withstand is plus or minus 9g. 9g means that a pilot is undergoing a force nine times that of Earth. If he weighs 200 pounds, he will suddenly feel as if he weighs 1,800 pounds. The force involved makes blood flow to the feet, and the pilot will experience a grey-out where he is unable to discern any colour or even a temporary blackout. Or if the plane is upside down, the increased blood flow to the brain may cause a red out, where his vision is replaced by a red screen. The maximum g-force experienced on oblivion is 4.5 g. This is not drastic enough to experience a grey out, a blackout, or even a red out. But it may be enough for some people to experience what is known as a cop-out. This psychological state usually occurs when the moment of truth arrives. And it's their turn to drop into oblivion. False bravado is replaced by weak excuses at the prospect of a sheer vertical drop into the abyss. If this happens to your friends, it means that they have zero G-tolerance. Or that they're just soft.